I better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. Gone shopping. I'll pick the kids up from school at lunchtime, and then I'll come home to get things ready for Jason's birthday party. Don't work too hard. I love you.
I'm as clean as a whistle. Time to get dressed. Nothing like a refreshing shower. I almost feel awake. I've got some time before Grace and the kids get back. Better get some work done. How about some music? I could go for a cup of coffee. I hope Grace found a present for Jason's birthday. Oof, it's stuffy in here. I should get some fresh air in the garden. I'm thirsty. Should be some orange juice in the fridge. Maybe there's something on TV. I could just relax on the couch until Grace and the kids come back. Nice day outside. Maybe I could squeeze in a little garden time. It's almost lunchtime. Grace and the kids will be back any minute.
Hmm. Not the greatest sketch I've ever drawn. Maybe I should try again. The plans are coming along nicely. Should be finished by Monday. Now I can relax and seize the day. Take it easy, you're gonna knock me over. Uh, so this is your big day, huh? Am I grown up now? Hmm, 10 years old, that's not exactly grown up, but you're getting there. Now, can I drive your car? And I think you're gonna have to wait a little while for that. <laughs> Ethan, can you please help me? I'm coming. I've been so excited since this morning. I could hardly keep them in line in the supermarket. How's your day been? Managed to get any work done? I made some pretty good progress. I've just got to work on a few more details and then I should be ready to present the plans to the client. Ugh, I've got a billion things to do. It'll never be ready before Jason's pals arrive. Can you please help me? Uh, there should be plates in the living room cupboard. 
No problem, leave it to me. I wouldn't want to be responsible for a diplomatic incident with your mother. I think I'll go outside and play with the kids. That's it, I'm free as a bird. Hey, five minutes, boys, okay? After that, we've got to eat, because your friends are going to be here okay, soon. Okay, we promise, Mom. Who wants to go first? Me first! No, me, me first! first. <laughs> Easy, fellas, you can both have a turn. Me first! Me first! No, me first! All right, Jason, let's do the helicopter. Okay, Sean, get ready. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, Dad, show us how strong yeah, show us you are. Big muscles. Be careful. Hang on. Come in. 
Sean? Lunch is ready. I'll go get him. Sean? What's up? It's Merlin. He's dead. He's dead and it's all my fault. No, it's not, Sean. Of course it's not your fault. I'd give anything if you could come back to life. You know, Sean, there's some things which just have to happen. Even if you don't want them to. It's not fair, Dad. It's not fair. I know. Jason! 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 Jason, you really shouldn't wander off like that, you know? There's an awful lot of people in here. Please, Dad, can I have one? I would really love to have one. Please, Dad, come on. Okay, let's go buy a balloon. Great! Hey, champ, what's your name? Jason. Which balloon would you like, Jason? Uh, the red one. There you go. That'll be two dollars, sir. Jason, wait for me. Wait for your dad, son. It's really crowded in here. shoes with this crowd. Where's Jason? He was here a second ago. I bought him a balloon. I turned around and just disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean disappeared? Stay here. I'll go get him. I'll be right back. Jason!
Jason! Jason! Jason! Jason! Jason! Jason! Jason! Jason! Jason! Jason! Jason! Jason! Jason!
Bye, Sean. Bye, Dad. Greece has Sean this weekend. Seems like he can't wait to get back to his mother. I wrote a reminder note on the board in the kitchen. Sean hasn't done his homework yet. If Sean is hungry, he can find something for himself. It's still early. We'll see about the homework later. Time for a snack. Maybe Sean is hungry. So, do you want to talk a little? Talk about what? I don't know, about you, your friends, how things are going. Nothing special. Sean, do you want to do your homework now? Please, Dad, let me watch TV a little while longer. We'll do it later, okay? I think we should just get right to it. Then it's done and out of the way. Now, get your bag and get set up in the kitchen. I'll help you. Dad, I'm finished. Can I go watch TV?
Let me have a look. Pretty good. Looks like you're done. <laughs> Off you go. It's getting dark. Better turn on the light. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. What do you say we play together for a while? I'd rather watch TV. Do you want me to get your dinner? No thanks, I'm not hungry yet. You've got a cold coming on. I'm gonna see if I can find some medicine for you. It's dinner time. I'd better make something for Sean.
Stop messing around or I'll never be able to film you. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Come to think of it, if he's not asking for anything, it must be because he's not hungry. Here, take this. It'll make you feel better. Thanks, Dad. Do you want me to get your dinner? Oh, yeah. I'm really hungry. Okay, I'll go see what I can find. I'll call you when it's ready. You can come now, Sean. Your meal is ready. I'm coming! He's happy watching TV. Might as well leave him there for... It's Sean's bedtime. How are things at school? Is your teacher nice? Everything's fine, Dad. Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. I'm not tired yet. Can I stay up a little longer? All right, we'll wait a little before going to bed. But... Don't say anything to your mother, okay? Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. I'm not tired yet. Can I stay up a little longer? 
Now that's not very reasonable, is it? You have school tomorrow. You have to get some sleep. All right, I'm going. Are you coming with me? Go brush your teeth and put on your pajamas. I'll come up. Good night, Sean. My teddy! I haven't got my teddy, Dad! You must have left it somewhere in the house. Do you have any idea where it could be? No, Dad. Please, I can't sleep without him. All right, I'll have a look around and see if I can find it, okay? Thanks, Dad. Good night, Sean. Night. Dad? Yeah? Why do you look so sad? I think I just need some time. To get back to the way things were. You know, Dad, what happened to Jason wasn't your fault. Good night, Sean.
Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh, yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? What do you want to know? How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him. Did Johnny live with you? Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I wanted to stop, you know. But we needed the money. I was trying to earn enough to get us out of here. When did you sound the alarm? About 8 o'clock. I began to get worried. I went all around the neighborhood. I went to the wasteland where they like to play. I went to see his friends. I called the cops about 10 o'clock. Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes he fought with other kids. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on.
Time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. No point in pushing it. She's not going to tell me anymore. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. I didn't learn squat. Well, it's worth a try. I gotta get out of here. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh! Ugh. Yeah, asshole. Are you all right? <sighs> Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> 